Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Crooked Man. This is the beginning of scene four. So uh, sit tight, strap yourselves in, we're going to be enjoying a bit of a story. Here we are. The phone was ringing, and Paul says, dang it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to? And where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it? It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Dang it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Uh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... <gasps> David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. D why are you over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much move as a muscle. Don't come. Please. Don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Dang it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Well, how is a hospital take a... That's 20. Like, 12 hours? 24 hours of driving? That's like halfway across the U.S. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right. Let's go. Okay, man. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. I can't, I can't even... I could not... I cannot see. Honestly, cannot see what is... I see a car, and I see two figures, and I see a gate. It's literally all I see right now. Yeah? I cannot see... I can't. honestly cannot see... There's a door. Okay, we're inside. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That's you, David! Let's just go upstairs. That sounds great. Hello, David. Searching for you. It's your friends. We're looking for you. Upstairs. Is this the right upstairs, or is it the clinic upstairs? David? No, David. David! We'll try another floor. Okay. Who's there? What are you doing there? Who is that? A girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you about? What's this about? What the heck are you? Go see him. You hate sissies like me. Your friend is important to you. Man, what the heck was that? Go see him. Well, where is he? I don't I don't know where to find him is the problem. I would love to see him. Did I check I didn't even check the main room thing there, did I? Nope, okay. Let's try it. Here we go. Yes, I did try it. <laughs> um where is he? Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Hmm. 
Nothing inside. Why? What? Go see him. Where is he? Do you think it's possibly where that hanging room was? That'd be unfortunate if it was that. I guess we go downstairs. Oh, man. Creepy. Who was that, you guys? Who do you think it would be? There was a girl? Why would a girl be here? The kitties are back! Oh no, that's awful. You don't think David... Oh, come on. Why would he do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. If only. I think there's only one door per floor that's open. So... I think this one's an up here one. Yes. It says the blood on the bed. They didn't have a reaction. They're too cool for that, you guys. They are just too chill. They don't worry about nothing. All right, let's go here. Yep, okay. Someone else. David? Hey, who are you? Is it the monster? What? Yo! The heck? What are you doing here all alone? Oh, that was the girl. That was the girl, we, we, I forget her name now, from the first scene that we talked to. Yeah. Is her name Sissy? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Oh, man. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. I guess we'll go to the roof. Seems like the only logical place to go right now. Unless it's the basement. Do they have reactions to these things? No. Here? Hello? David? David? What are these? Bins of water? Creepy things? Don't know. Okay, let's go up to the roof, I suppose. And be three. Oh. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me a kid's wandering here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat. Which caught a crooked mouse. And they all... Kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a little crooked house. Hey! You listen to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go on, see him. Hey! What was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget it. Oh, sorry. Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion, what do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. 
So that's it. Huh. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry. I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, please, come back quickly. Right. So, all of those are ghosts. Just wait for me, David. What are you doing out there? David. Paul. Why? Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away! David! You... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking. But I see nothing. I'll never... what I'll be. And these are the only things I'll have. Br David, what? That's... Agony. Living is... Agony. Nothing will go how I want it. It's so bright here. Right now. David! Punch him. Tart. Ow. You dang monster, get away from David. Hey, ow, ow, stop, ow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm trying to go. <laughs> that hurts! Stop, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like heck! If that's the kind of thing you'd do saying, I'd have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Sometimes violence is the answer, kids. What? Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh. So you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, that's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I'd see it? You and Marion never believe me. Shush. Anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your cult shtick. You seriously making fun of the cult after this? List, just listen, no jokes. So, you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. 
When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you, and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying, he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Take it advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from that stuff he left. Plus, that was all stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Sorry. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him? Or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. So he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He... He helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked men will follow me forever. So I'm going. Okay, bye. David. You can back to a safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah. I know. Scene four, Central Hospital, Paul, end. I mean, we can go ahead and save here, I think. I, I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Perfect. And, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video here right now. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, question of the video is, who is your best friend? Tell me about your best friend who would talk you out of a dark place like that. My best friend is Connor from college, and uh, I've known him for almost you know eight eight or nine years now, and. Uh, he is, he's my homie. I actually just got to see him. He was going on a around the world trip for the past year. He's been gone literally the past year. We've been talking on Facebook every now and then. Doing, he was doing service projects in cities, not even cities, in countries around the world, uh, small little villages. Um, literally went around the world, been gone an entire year, just got back last week, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. And uh, I got to see him and had a, had a really nice conversation. Good to catch up with him. It was, it was awesome to see him. But his name's Connor. He's my friend from college. My homie. And uh, it's funny because he's, he's like a vegan. He's been a lifelong vegetarian, went vegan in college. But he is this big, buff dude. He works out all the time. And he's buff. And you look at him and you're like, no way. And I'm like, he's a vegan. They're like, no way, what? So that's always fun. But anyways... 
You guys let me know your story down below, and I will see you next episode. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe for the class. Adios.